With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone. So we are given with a question which says a particle is projected along the line of greater slope up a rough inclined at an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal. So if the coefficient of friction is given to be as is half, the retardation is. So there is a particle which has been projected upward on a line of greater slope and that uh, plane is having a, a coefficient of friction as 1 by 2 since it has been given as rough. So first let's try to understand what exactly is the meaning of uh, line of greater slope. So here it is the term uh, basically this term is used in mathematics but uh, uh, just for the sake of understanding uh, we should have we should know at least the definition of it or we can say so uh, it is the basically it is a line which is lying in the plane and uh, having maximum angle with the horizontal so in this case the maximum angle with the horizontal is being given as 45 that uh, line should lie in the plane that is the um, condition for the line of greater slope all right so uh, just for the uh, understanding uh, I have discussed it over here else the diagram uh, looks something like this and we can easily solve the given problem so let's begin so let's suppose that uh, we have a particle which has been or the object that has been uh, moving upward all right so we are interested in finding the value of retardation so uh, let's say uh, we will first draw the FVD of this and then we will find the uh, value of retardation so its weight will be acting in the downward direction and here it will be and the component of mg that is we can write it as mg sin theta and here it is mg cos theta all right and since it has been moving up the plane so the friction that is frictional force will be acting in the downward direction so I am showing it over here friction force that is denoting it by F small f alright so this is acting also in the downward direction so from this two condition uh, all the forces has been uh, shown on the body now uh, let's also one more force we have uh, forgot to take into consideration that is the normal so normal uh, is always acting perpendicular to the surface and uh, let's suppose it has to be n and this is our acceleration that has been uh, given to the body up the inclined plane all right so from here we can uh, write frictional force is given by mu into n all right this is a formula for friction force and here if we carefully analyze the value of n can be written as mg cos theta which can be written as mu value has been given as 1 by 2 that is coefficient of friction into mg into cos theta has been given as 45 so uh, cos 45 here so we will get mg by 2 root 2 this is the frictional force we have calculated now uh, we can say we will just uh, use the second equation or uh, second law of Newton's second law so for from that we can write F net that is net force acting on the particle is equals to the uh, product of mass into acceleration so from here we can write the forces that has been acting on the body is first is uh, mg sin theta and uh, f in the downward direction and uh, so we can write f plus mg sin theta since both are in the same direction so we are adding them up and th these are the forces and that is equals to m into a all right so from here uh, if we substitute the value of f therefore we can write f can be written as mg upon 2 root 2 plus of here it can be mg sin theta can be written as 1 over root 2 and that is equals to ma so from here we can take the value of g by root 2 as common out so what we are left with is 1 by 2 plus 1 and that is equals to this mm will get cancelled out from here so 
this is the value of acceleration we are getting actually as we can see over here as the body is moving up with an acceleration a this is not an uh, this uh, to call it an acceleration it is not correct it is actually retardation because at every moment it is uh, trying to move upward it is experiencing a force uh, due to mg sin theta component due to gravity in the backward direction all right so this is the retardation we are getting all right so this matches with the option c so i hope you have understood the concept and thank you for watching for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today